What a debut, Sue, for Shake Shack's shares of the upscale burger chain exploded on their first day of trading after pricing last night at $21 uh, a share, two bucks above the top of the range. Here's what happened. Shares shot up 118% today. They more than doubled. 45.90 was the close on a day that practically everything else lost money. So what has so many diners and investors craving those cooked-to-order burgers and crinkle-cut fries? Kate Rogers has the story. And what's next for the ca fast casual chain? Danny Meyer Shake Shack may have started as a literal hot dog stand in Madison Square Park more than a decade ago, but it's since grown into a worldwide brand. After making the Madison Square Park location permanent in 2004, it took the company five years to open a second store. But from there, it's grown rapidly to 63 locations around the world. The burger joint is also known for its crinkle cut fries and custard. With higher prices than a McDonald's or a Burger King, it's in the fine casual space. That makes its real competition the likes of Chipotle and Five Guys, which are equally popular with the millennial crowd. The question now is whether people will line up to buy the stock the way they do Shake Shack's burgers. Definitely from the investment side, there's an appetite. Uh, whether or not you know the company is going to replicate the craze that or all the attention it's received in the New York metropolitan area is to be seen. We're hungry. We're here for a real estate conference, and we've heard about the Shake Shack. I like their burgers because they're not too thick and not too thin. Awesome burgers at a fair price and a local favorite, and we tried to get in last night, and the line was around the block. Uh, what don't you like? I like the burgers, the, the shakes, I mean, the quality. It really comes down to the quality. That enthusiasm from customers earned Shake Shack more than $82 million in revenue in 2013. But same store sales have been declining over the past three years, and some analysts have expressed concern about whether store growth is sustainable. There really aren't a lot of uh, you know, great growth names in the consumer cyclical space because of uh, online growth or online sales growth. Uh, you know, it has opened up the door for a lot of restaurant space or restaurant names to get into the space. However, with all that increased competition, I, I think there are going to be barriers to, to how much some of these concepts can grow. But Shake Shack says it's not planning on slowing down anytime soon, aiming to open 450 new shacks in new and existing markets in the next few years. In New York City, for Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.